Hello everybody, this is Yarius and I'm here with uh, a tutorial for Streamlabs OBS. The tutorial I will be essentially covering today will be how to do audio devices like headphones, microphones and like me if you run uh, also a different channel for voice chat, how to add that as a source on, on OBS and all of that stuff, how to make sure for example you won't have a microphone active while you're on the BRB screen and all that stuff. The other part I will cover is how to add media sources like uh, music or animated uh, videos. And I will also be quickly covering how to add like a credit scene. So, first off, you start up your Streamlabs OBS, of course, easy. You start it up and then you go to the settings here at the top right. And then you go to audio and you make sure all audio devices are disabled. You want none of them active, I will go over it why that's the case in once we hit the scenes that it's important onto. So you just want to disable all of this. So at the moment, not when you, you do that, nothing will appear in your mixer and that's how you want to start out. This is the best way to start really. So what do we do then? There's no audio here. Okay, we're going to add a new source and in the beginning you add an audio input uh, capture. Audio input capture is essentially a microphone, which I'm also going to call a microphone. Uh, you make sure uh, use device timestamps is checkmarked. And to make it easier to find out what's your default audio device, because most of the time that's what you're going to be using, you right click here the audio icon on Windows and you go to recording devices. Mine checkmarked is the uh, VB audio voice meter, it's because I use a special program to have more control of my audio. Also allows me to record some of my audio, but I'm not going to go into that. Normally in my sound microphone is a mixer microphone, but for now we just go with microphone, make it easy. I have the stuff that I need renamed to make it easy. As you can see on the playback, like for example TV, motherboard, audio driver, mixer, voice chat, and headphones. So that's how my system is set up. So let's go to that and we just add microphone. And then you click done and you can see when I'm talking the microphone slider in mixer goes up and down really so you know your microphone is added. Okay now we're gonna add the uh, audio for like games or video capture devices really. Okay so uh, I'm just gonna call this headphones because I use headphones. You can name this whatever you want by the way as long as you can make sense of what it is because whatever you name it here is what the name is going to be in the mixer. So then you go here, click, I uh, click on the headphones, whatever you use f uh, to listen to the audio to. Uh, that's what you want the device here to be. So and then you click done. And to quickly give it a test to for you guys to show, you'll also be able to hear this unless I quickly disable it on the OBS I'm recording with here is all here. Do a test on my headphones and you can see the volume slider go up and down in the mixer. So you know it's working. Uh, it would, would have been real odd if I enabled it in this OBS so I quickly had to disable it, okay? So that's that. If you also run extra audio channels like I do, uh, I'll quickly show how to do it for uh, voice chat. Most people can just ignore this step. So add new source and I'm quickly just going to add voice chat here and you can do the exact same thing. Now let's say for somebody in the stream, uh, for example, voice chat is too loud, okay? You just click this here, you can drag it. Not the best way I say. It doesn't give you a lot of control. A better way to go would be click on this little cogwheel here. It brings open an advanced audio settings. And here you can, for example, put in percentages and let's say put voice chat at 80. You can see it go down there. It says minus 7.2 decibels, okay? We also want to, like, for example, down mix to mono, you can do that here. Sync offset, something most of the time you don't want to touch unless there's really big desync. But most of the time, the uh, audio device timestamps will negate that. So the tracks is, for the most part, only for recording, which uh, will go in in a future topic. Uh, audio monitoring, for example, if you essentially want to only monitor it, for example... Um, uh, for example, voice chat. If you want to hear how the voice chat sounds in here, most of the time you're not going to do that in example. But for example, 
people, if you do this, you will only be able to hear it yourself. People on the stream won't be able to hear it or monitor an output. You can hear the volume levels on like the stream, for example. Most of them, you do that with microphones, really. And then you can hear your own microphone. Stream can hear it. You can kind of get a sense on how everything sounds. So those are all possibilities, for example. I'm going to set this back to 100. And let's go further into the topic here. Now we go to our BRB screen, because in a BRB screen, most of the time, you don't want the mic active, which is obvious. And as you can see here, there's no audio sources here active, which is what we essentially wanted to start out with. You don't want any audio sources active in all your scenes. You always add them later on. So, and how do you add an audio source? Well, essentially, we only really want our headphones here active, because people don't need to be able to hear our mic, because most of the time, when do we go to a B screen, for example, if we have to go get a drink or something, people don't need to hear or leave and all that stuff. There's no reason for that. So you don't need to add a microphone, so you just add an audio output capture, but you don't add a new source. You add an existing source and you just make sure, you, like, for example, I can click voice chat, but you want to make sure headphones or whatever you have it called is selected and then add existing source and it works now in BRB screen. So people will be able to, for example, hear if you're playing like Spotify, people will be able to hear your Spotify here perfectly clear. So that's how you set this up, people. It's actually pretty straightforward. And you essentially do it for all the other scenes too. Like I'll quickly gonna go over this. So for example, here headphones added to stream ending scene, for example. Uh yeah, headphones added again. See? See, pretty easy, pretty straightforward, I hope. And I hope this was pretty helpful for you. So now let's go over uh, adding a media source because we're essentially we're done with how to do the audio setup. Media sources, most of the time you'll add on BRB screens or starting scenes, for example. And I'm gonna show you that real quickly. You essentially, you just want to add a new source. You want to add a media source. These are all the file formats it uh, supports for the most part. Just make sure the video is either like in MP4 MOV or WebAM, those are the most common ones. And audio files for the most part, MP3, WAV. I don't know if FLAC will work, so people be aware of that. I've actually never tried a FLAC file. People don't know what a FLAC file is. FLAC file are like uh, uncompressed songs. It's better audio quality than MP3. It's more leveled, but it's also like almost 10 times as big. So, warning on that one. Uh, and then you add a new source. And for example, I'm going to call, this is going to be a song I'll be adding in the end. It's a Linkin Park song. I know that one I've set up because then you go to the properties and you go to brass and just add this. You add that and you can see it's instantly playing. So for example, when I go back to main scene, BRB scene, it actually resets the state of that song. Now, of course, that song can be really loud. How can you change that again? You can just go back to the mixer wheel here, click on it, advanced audio settings, and change the volume settings here. My suggestion is when you want to test this all out, either do a test stream or do like a local recording. I tend to do local recordings just to make sure this is right, because I always want my audio levels to be right. Sometimes I don't, and that bites me in the ass in the end when I stream. And I hate technical difficulties when I'm streaming, so I'm pretty sure everybody else gets pissed off with that too. Now, for example, if you also want to add like uh, an animated scene, for example, BRP animated, let's do it like that. Add a new source. I have all of this set up beforehand, by the way. So, um, you see, it's an animated one. The same thing you can do for just like images and such. So, and the images we, you can do GIFs, so that works too. And, oh, and by the way, this is also something I forgot to say. If you add a video file and you want it looped, so you want it to keep going over and over again, make sure you click loop. You also want to make sure hide source, uh, and playback. And also essentially close the file when inactive, really. Because if you keep it active, it's going to put more stress on your PC. Can't, like if it's active, it's going to put more stress. Like it might not be showing. Wow. Um... Nice bug there, Streamlabs OBS. Uh, let's close that real quickly. I haven't had that bug before. Eh, interesting. Okay, now, ah, got it working again. So, 
but you really want this active too. And we start playback. That's something you also want active, really. Uh, we have that same thing set. Wow. Ooh. Same thing here. I don't have the music looped. Um, I actually didn't think of something, but also what I would suggest, like if you want to have multiple songs, you can't do them in, sp You've it's only going to be in specific order. And what I would suggest is like, for example, use a program like Audacity, do some music editing. If you don't know how to do it, maybe you know somebody that can do it. It's not that hard, really. And just put songs together. You can level the audios and crossfade in between them. So just one big audio file would work better. Just saying. Um, essentially, with the starting soon screen, you do the same thing. You add another meter source. Add new source. Loop it. Do that. Do that. Uh, what PM? I didn't name it, so let's rename this to starting soon animated. And that's how you do all of this. Now, the stupid part is when you add like an animated thing, uh, essentially, for some weird reason, it always adds like something in the mixer. Most of the time, this is n doesn't have any volume. As you can see, nothing is going up and down. You can't really move that sadly, but it's there, just so you know. And then the stream ending scene. This is a really big part that I really want to show quickly. Is you go to add a new source. And then you go to credits. Add source. Uh, I'm just going to keep calling it credits. Now. Uh, of course. My monitor is a 1080p monitor. Let's put it at 60 frames. Because I always stream at 60 frames. I do stream at 720p. But. As people here can see my video. This stays on 1080p. I only downscale in the output settings to 720p. That's how I set up my settings. But so everybody's different. So, um, of course, you see nothing here. Now, what are the credits seen? The credits is for uh, when you want to show uh, who all followed you. Like, I'm going to test all the credits on the dashboard real quickly. As you can see, credits, donor, followers, subscribers, cheers, and the moderators if you want. And that's a really nice thing to say thank you for everybody that was in your stream watching, following, moderating, cheering. Well, not really viewing, I think, but you know what I mean. So it's a really nice thing to show the support shown to you. If you don't know where to set it up, you just go to your Streamlabs dashboard. You can do that here in the Streamlabs OBS. You go to your dashboard. Once it loads... And then, for example, under widgets here, you have credits. And um, yeah. Then, that's all credits, for example. It also said it on my best and nice. You can change the team, credit title, credit subtitle, the coloring. You can, for example, disable show followers, or if you don't want to show that, you can loop the credits if you want. So, these are all really nice things, really. So, yeah. That's how you set that up. Uh, I hope this was helpful for you, people. If you have any more questions, you're always welcome to ask uh, them. I will be linking my Discord in the description. My own Discord, personal Discord. If you want, you can join that too. Ask questions there. I'll be sure to set up a uh, text channel for that. Just so if people have questions. Otherwise, you could also put them on YouTube. I might not always see them, but I'll try to now. Uh, otherwise, you can also always message me on Twitter. That works too. Uh, yeah. Um, if you have any questions, just do it. If you have any suggestions on what to add for tutorials or what kind of tutorials to make, I'm always open for suggestions. Almost, almost always willing to do it. So, yeah. This is the audios, and I'll see you next time.